Do you, ever, do you ever like sit and pause and say, well, if this thing, if this becomes sentient and it has the ability to make better versions of yeah. itself, how long before we're literally dealing with a god? So the way that I think about this is it used to be that like AGI was this very binary moment. It was before and after. And I think I was totally wrong about that. And the right way to think about it is this continue continuum of intelligence this smooth exponential curve back all the way to that sort of smooth curve curve of technological revolution the the amount of compute power we can put into the system the scientific ideas about how to make it more efficient and smarter to give it the ability to do reasoning to think about how to improve itself that will all come but my my model for a long time i I think if you look at the world of agi thinkers there's uh, there's sort of two, particularly around the safety issues you're talking about, there's two axes that matter. There's the short, what called short timelines or long timelines, you know, to the first milestone of AGI, whatever that's going to be. Is that going to happen in a few years, a few decades, maybe even longer? Although at this point, I think most people are a few years or a few decades. And then there's takeoff speed. Once we get there, from there to that point you're talking about where it's capable of the rapid self-improvement, um, is that a slow or a fast process? The, the world that I think we're heading, that we're in, and also the world that I think is the most controllable and the safest, is the short timelines and slow takeoff quadrant. And I think we're going to have, you know, there were a lot of very smart people for a while who were like, the thing you were just talking about happens in a day or three days. And I don't, that doesn't seem likely to me given the shape of the technology as we understand it now. Now, even if that happens in a decade or three decades, it's still like the blink of an eye from a historical perspective. And there are going to be some real challenges to getting that right. And the decisions we make, the, the sort of safety systems and the, ch- and the checks that the world puts in place, how we think about global regulation or rules of the road from a safety perspective for those projects it's super important because you can imagine many things going horribly wrong but i've been i feel cheerful about the progress the world is making towards taking this seriously and uh you know it reminds me of what i've read about the conversations that the world had right around the development of nuclear weapons